response to uh, uh, Police Chief Jackson stepping down, who has resisted the pressure for quite some time now? Well, uh, it is tracomic. It is both sad and laughable that it took uh, over 200 days of people in the street, uh, over 600 arrests uh, in a variety of protests and uh, actions around uh, the Department of Justice report, and then a week following for him to uh, resign. It it speaks to a level of uh, 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 a, a level of resistance on the part of uh, the Ferguson uh, system writ large to admit any wrongdoing. And to be sure, uh, uh, both the mayor uh, and others have said the resignations do not represent an admittance of wrongdoing. He shall receive the severance packet, and his record will not be tarnished. Uh, but while uh, he has participated in the violation of the civil rights of, uh, of, of citizens and journalists uh, over the last 200 days. So it is too little, uh, too late. Um, and we are uh, continued to be saddened by the whole affair. Mm. And Vince Warren, could you give us your response to um, the Department of Justice report and then these resignations um, among uh, Ferguson city officials? Yeah, well, first of all, um, um, I agree with, with the Reverend that situations where police officers get shot um, in the midst of these protests are very complicated, and it's complicated and terrifying for the protesters and for the police officers. But one thing that needs to happen is that what, what shouldn't happen is that all of a sudden all of this energy starts getting shifted towards the protesters. I mean, clearly these are people that are, uh, like happened in New York, that come and shoot police officers out of some crazy motive, and it has this a tendency to try to, to deflate the movement, and that really shouldn't happen. Um, but I think it's important to recognize that with the Department of Justice inquiry here, um, that it was a scathing report that essentially put the entire system, um, saying, saying in an official DOJ paper what the protesters have been saying out there for 200 days, and I think that's really important. But we should remember um, that uh, even though the mayor called the police chief an honorable man, what was really happening here is that the, the police department is trying to preserve itself. This is actually strengthening its bargaining position with the DOJ, because what happens next is that they're going to have to show, the police office department's going to have to show, we can fix, it, fix ourselves. And we know that no system, and particularly no police system, can fix itself, and it's hard to see how you can be an honorable man when you're presiding over what's essentially a structural racism factory in the guise of a police department for a very long period of time.